Welcome back to the Augustana Observer Podcast. I am your host, Chris Ray, and I'm joined this week by Caleb Drew, a senior here at Augie. He's a Rondel. Anything else you want to you wanna say about yourself, Caleb? Uh, no, not too much. I'm, I'm a senior. Pretty sad to graduate soon, but it's time, unfortunately. <laughs> it's time to, to go off into the world and do, do what we got to do. Yeah. Um, I was just talking to Caleb. He's uh, you know, in French class this term. And he's uh, a little bit nervous for an exam. Yeah, yeah. kicking my butt. A little bit. I mean, I'm. I think I'm the only senior in the class. It's a little. Oh, really. It, it's a little embarrassing to be the only senior <laughs> with a bunch of freshmen, but other than that, it's going pretty well. I'm in an English class, and I'm. It's a three hundred level English class, and I think I'm the only senior as well. Mm-hmm. And the only reason I'm taking it is because I need like a three hundred level English class for my uh, creative writing minor, yeah. and um, yeah, I feel a little bit outnumbered. Mm-hmm. <laughs> in terms I definitely feel that. that. It's a weird environment. Um, but it's almost like I was, I look at it when I was an underclassman in classes and you run into somebody and you'd like, oh, what, like, what grade are you in? And they're like, or what year are you? And they'd say they're a senior. It's like you're looking at it from a different perspective now. Right. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, well, uh, idea for the uh, podcast this week is we're going to talk about basketball. We both, both played on the uh, club team here at Augie. Um, our freshman and sophomore year? Yeah. I mean, I, yeah, freshman and sophomore year. Yeah. I, and then uh, junior and senior year kind of twinkled, like, twinkled out because of COVID. COVID, classes got harder. It's hard to dedicate that much yeah. time to something that you, with all the traveling and stuff. So Yeah. Caleb and I both shared that, um, I think, passion for, for sports, for um, basketball in particular. Um and, um, you know, that experience on the club team, I think any, any sport club or, uh, you know, organized sport here in Augustana offers you an opportunity to um, compete at your own individual level, compete with other peers at your, you know, age, at your age group. And I think what those intramurals, those club sports allow for students to do if you don't really want to uh, you know, compete at that varsity level, that collegiate level, you're still able to compete and, you know, grow on a, uh, you know, individual level and, you know, encourage your, your teammates, your, you know, people who are, you know, you're going to school with to encourage them to compete and grow, you know, at, at a different level than, you know, the varsity level. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then also just like coming to Augustana, like as like a freshman, it kind of felt like 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 not being a part of a um like a sports team like as a freshman I feel like you're kind of like socially at like kind of a disadvantage so like joining club basketball was a way for me to meet more people where I know I have something in common which uh, which is playing basketball and that was a way for, to express myself and make friends along the way yeah and I think I think it, for me it started with you know just playing you know just playing at Pico mm-hmm. uh, just pick up games and then I realized like well, I guess I could do I guess I could compete a little bit higher, higher level and, um, you know, be with those guys who want to do more than just play pickup games. They want to like, you know, mm-hmm. go to practices, you know, compete in games. And, um, it's a little less, less of a, um, commitment than say like a, a varsity, varsity level sport, but you're still putting in the time. You're still putting in the effort and everybody's, you know, on that same, um, Everyone's in that same mindset of let's you know, let's get some wins let's let's compete together kind of thing. Mm-hmm. And then like, too like with, like a part of me w- uh, wishes that all you would have done this earlier, but like they like, did you hear that they were like making a- a- outdoor courts outside of Westie? Yeah, I did hear that this year. So like that's how, like always been a struggle to find outdoor courts around here. Like you can go, like just hop in your car, but. Even a freshman year, I didn't have a car here, so it's pretty cool that they're making the courts outside. But yeah, like thinking, relating, uh, Augie sports, Augie club sports. I am, um, both Caleb and I are uh, basketball fans in general, and we both, our respective teams are, are the Bulls right now, the Chicago Bulls. I mean, like an, an advantage of like coming down to Augie, at least like being a Bulls fan, is that the majority of people here, I feel like, are. Uh, 
are Bulls fans if they are into basketball at all. Yeah. So like that's at least nice. So we're like, if you're trying to branch out and meet new people, like, common denominator it could be if you if they like basketball, they're almost guaranteed a Bulls fan too. So. Yeah, and I feel like if you were a Bulls fan up until this point, like our senior year, you were kind of like, in the dark Bulls fans because we yeah. haven't really been <laughs> relevant yeah. to this Absolutely. point. Um, I don't really remember like club club wise or. Um, even myself, I am wise, like even talking about like NBA or anything at that point. Yeah. And I think the conversations were pretty limited to like, they are trash. They are, they are, I mean, they weren't fun to watch at all. Like, like hurt my mental health to watching the Bulls for a while. I remember our freshman year, like, um, you would say you were going to watch like a Bulls game and I was like, oh yeah. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> and I was a Bulls fan back then, but I just didn't, I wasn't like watching all their games. Like it just wasn't, whereas this year I think I've watched every single game. I, I missed maybe one. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think Chicago being that, uh, you know, it's a basketball city and when basketball is, when but the Bulls are good, like I feel like Chicago is a way more positive city to live in. I mean, from a sports from a sports mm-hmm. standpoint, and like, I feel like even like you could re- like relate re- relate that to like Aug- Augie in a way. Like when we came here as freshmen, like our our men's team was really really fun to watch with like Pierce and Walford and Krishan and Nolan. Like they were all like extremely fun to watch. Like it it almost felt like they shouldn't even be at this level because they were so good. Mm-hmm. But like when like. It's just nice when, like, your local sports teams are good because then uh, it, I feel like it kind of brings, like, a, a, a community or, in our case, like, a campus together. It brings the excitement. Like, the excitement's in the, you know, yeah. it's in the air. and um, It's something to look forward to. You know that your your sports team is doing well and you they're representing you in that way, especially if you're a basketball fan or a sports fan. Your sports fans are doing well. It's going gonna, it's gonna to make you more excited. It's going to inspire you to do more things like I felt like this year watching the Bulls it's just like I don't know it's been like this missing void Mm -hmm. inside me like being able to watch the Bulls again um because I was like a huge like the Derrick Derrick Rose days and Mm -hmm. um that was like that was it I was watching Bulls all the time and I feel like that missing (laughs) that missing piece of me is back again Mm -hmm. um but yeah what what you're saying about on a college campus if your sports teams are doing well, if you have that connection with, uh, you, you know, the peers and the teammates on those teams, um, it's going to make you, you know, feel better about your school. Uh, mm-hmm. It's going to make you feel better about the overall, um, you know, aura of the, the school. And, and, you mm-hmm. know, they're making, they're doing, they're going to make you proud kind of thing. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I feel like it's always fun to, like, see, like, People you know and people you you recognize, especially all you like you like, pe- like people on the men's team like you see like walking around like let like you know them like you're friends with them and then I don't know they go they, they go on ball occasionally. Well, for me, like college sports, like I never really saw myself playing them. Like I played, I played. What I've been telling myself is that if I would have started playing basketball at a more serious level sooner on in my you know, my life, like it was always baseball for me. Mm-hmm. And I started doing travel baseball um, at like, probably when I was eight, I started doing travel baseball. Mm-hmm. And it was, baseball was my number one sport and basketball was number two. So I carried on with baseball through high school and throughout high school, basketball kind of became number one. So it was almost like too late to like put all the time in mm-hmm. to try and like, go on at the college level because I didn't want to do baseball anymore. Like yeah. I was baseball, I was tired out. They made me a PO and I was like, no, nope, I want to, <laughs> baseball is not it anymore. I mean, I still love baseball, but I kind of just took away my love for the game a little bit. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I always, I always said like, if I would have played, you know, AAU basketball when I was, you know, young, like baseball, mm-hmm. I feel like my chances of, you know, wanting to pursue that, into college would have been a little bit better, my chances of doing that. Mm-hmm. But the, the payoff's gotta be so so awesome, like knowing that you're a, an athlete and a, um, 
you know, a student at the same time. You know, mm-hmm. even my sister, she's uh, playing volleyball at, you know, D2 level. And, you know, I respect her so much that she's doing it. Like, she's still, she's still doing, you know, classes. She's still getting really good grades. And she's doing well. And, like, she's, you know, kicking butt on the volleyball court. And it's just... I, I couldn't imagine like putting that much time into both of those areas and right. like still coming up on top. So exactly. it's, yeah. it's, it's really, it's respect yeah. to those, uh, those who can do it. Yeah. That like actually, you know, believe that they can do that and they, they do it. I mm-hmm. think that's the thing that's awesome. It's something to, to look up to as, um, you know, a non varsity athlete looking up to those, those students who are, doing it both on the court and in the classroom. When it comes to IMs and club, more so IMs, it's a lot of, I would say it's a lot of offense over. Yeah, I mean, for sure. I'd probably say offense. People don't try as hard in defense. Yeah. And then, honestly, I feel like a lot of I, I, IMs is who's taking care of their body the most. Mm-hmm. You know, like who who can continue to play 15-minute games back to back to back to back and not be absolutely gas. I feel like as people who aren't student athletes, that's probably the biggest battle. Do you remember when we played in the that one club tourney where like I think we played like three games back to back? Yeah. It was at that one school mm-hmm. and nobody wanted to play. <laughs> yeah. Towards the end it's just like we were getting it's a lot of effort for for something bad in the day. Like it matters, but like we were getting our butt kicked. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. It just makes you look at like professional athletes or um, you know athletes at the varsity level even differently. Like they're they're going to practice every day. They're going to you know games. You know sometimes on back to back and um. No regular season games. You could look at regular season games and be like, "Oh, this this game doesn't matter." And um, and I still get angry when I'm watching a Bulls game, and it looks like, you know, they come out in the first quarter and they're not ready to play kind mm-hmm. of a thing. Yeah, I mean, even like at like at Augie, like, granted, like, we don't play like. Uh, like like we aren't student athletes, but like when we go and watch things and you see people that like are actually engaged, like, that's what makes it fun to watch. Mm -hmm. Like, when you're watching people who, like, seem like they're too cool for this, like, that's exactly what, like, turns you off, like, like as a fan at this level, too. Yeah, and, yeah, and as a fan, you're looking for, if you're, the people who you're watching, if the players who you're watching don't look invested, they don't look like they're 100% in it to win it, then you're going to be demotivated to watch them. You're not going to you're not going to be as excited for them. Mm-hmm. So seeing seeing the you know the grit the the um the effort on on both ends of the court in for say basketball or seeing that effort um you know in the eyes of who you're watching you know that's going to motivate you to be a be a better fan to be better you know just. It's going to motivate you to be better in life, to be honest. Mm-hmm. It's going to give you more energy. Right. I mean, it's it's always, like, inspiring and, like, motivating. Like, it's, like, it's never not cool to care. Like, like, it's, like, you always want to care. Like, it's never, like, a bad thing. Like, it's never something, like, to be embarrassed about, to be invested in something. Mm-hmm. It kind of brings me to an interesting. So, you know, like, I'm going to edit this out, too. Um... Like that term, like try hard mm-hmm. or, or sweat or something like that, mm-hmm. it's kind of deemed as a negative term in today's society. Whereas, like, in all honesty, like a try hard is you're looking at somebody, if you say somebody's a try hard, you're like kind of saying, like, oh, they don't really need to be trying at this point. So I'm just going to like write them off and say they're a try hard because I don't want to do like the work to get to that point. Right. Whereas, like, what you're saying is, at any point, if somebody's doing their best or, you know, putting the effort in, it, that should be respected and something that people people respect. And people are like, you know, props to you. You're, you're putting the effort in. You're, you are um, excelling at your craft. You're putting the time in. Mm-hmm. Whereas, you know, the, the lazy person or the person who 
um, may not see it as the other person does, they're just going to write it off and say, oh, you're a try hard. You, you know, you're a sweat, like you're doing too much and I don't really care that much. So I'm just gonna, you know, just completely wipe your, your view out. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Yeah. Well, Caleb, I thank you for uh, sitting down. We got a chance to talk about basketball. We talked about bowls. We talked about basketball and sports here on the Augie campus. Yeah. And, um, yeah, I think, you know, just wrapping things up, um, you know, sports, sports is uh, a chance for people. It brings people together. It, um, it allows for, you know, competition and, you know, um, representing your, your respective uh, sports teams. It brings people together. It allows you to be prideful of those teams, um, compete with other people, other opposing teams. And overall, sports just allow, allow um, people to learn valuable life lessons, which is another thing I don't think we, we touched on, just um, being an athlete and being on a organized team. Um, you learn things about yourself you learn things if your coach is, you know, a respectable coach. You learn things from that coach, um, and those are lessons that you take with you, you know, after that that team is disbanded. You know, you take those lessons um, after, you know, after you graduate, kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, and as like a ex like a athlete turned student going from high school to college, I felt like Augie provides like a a good uh, mix of opportunity through like intramurals and club sports to uh, to allow for that expression to continue yeah 100 percent. for me for me um coming you know graduating high school i played I, I played three sports in high school and then coming to augie i didn't think i was gonna do i thought maybe i would do ims at some point but i didn't really think i'd do club but what i appreciated about doing club was that everybody there was competing at a little bit higher level than what IMs is and it was giving me that chance to push myself a little bit further than a little bit further than I am a little bit less than say varsity sports but everybody was we talked about this before everybody was in it to you know compete at that high level and you learn you learn about yourself you learn about what it takes to motivate yourself to play and yeah just certain life lessons that you take with you after you know after those teams is banned yeah. well this will be it for today's <clears throat> this week's episode for the observer podcast thank you for listening and i will see you on the next episode mm -hmm.